Hello people, and for this round, we're gonna show you the best optimization settings for Dota 2, especially if we want higher performance. So first off, before we even launch Dota, let's go over and right click to Dota 2 here, go to properties, and right there under on launch options, we're gonna wanna type in these parameters. So first off, just type dash high, which sets the game on high priority every time it launches, and always put a space between launch options. So the next one is dash maps, which helps load up the maps beforehand so that it's ready to go once you're in game, and dash no HLTV. And no HLTV is something that lets more people spectate your game so it's a streamer thing, but it still uses resources by default, so you can switch that off from here. Alright, I would like to say disable the Steam overlay, but this is Dota. It is an online game that would be a bit counterintuitive. So once we're done with that, just close that and let's launch Dota. Game finally launched. Now all we have to do is tinker with the video settings. So to go to settings, we need to go to the top left. Now go over to video. And by default, you don't need to use advanced settings on the resolution. By default, that is 16 by 19. And by default, it'll be 1920 by 1080. I just switched this over to 1280 by 720 because that is what works for me. It's still the same aspect ratio after all. I usually set it to exclusive full screen because this usually helps with FPS. Although there are rare cases where borderless window is what you need. But in my case, I will just leave it to exclusive full Full screen. Now here in the lower options here, you can see that we're using Direct 3D 11. Now there is an option for Vulcan, but when I used that before on a Valheim, well I guess it improved performance but it also um, increased the heat of my machine. But for this case, we are looking for better performance, so we can just switch over to Vulkan. Now, when it says DLC installation required, it is just uh, free files. You'll see an update before you launch. And as for NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I just went over and selected Enabled plus Boost. Now over here at Rendering, this bar here in the basic settings, I just put it all the way down to Fastest. And it will uncheck everything here after I take on Use Advanced Settings. Now you can can leave animated portrait or ambient occlusion on but I'm trying to get as as much mileage as possible here because I'm not on the best machine and also either texture quality you can put that on medium along with shadow quality if you have trouble seeing what's on screen especially shadow but again I will just tell my eyes to get good <laughs> The game will look really blurry if you put this down low, and even if you put this at 100, that shouldn't be too much of a strain, but in my case, I just want to use 70, kind of like my preset with uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Now you can also max out the frames per second, it's going to be 240 max, but I will leave it at 60 because that is enough for me, 40 even, or 50 if we could go lower, so it doesn't put too much strain on my machine personally. But yeah, this should be the optimal setting for a really low-end machine. You can put it up a bit if you like. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.